Hey everyone, I'm your happiness expert, Paul Krismer. Now, a lot of people think if I just had a little bit more money, I'd be happy. So the real burning question then is how much money do I need? Well, science has a very clear answer. There's a concrete number where your happiness peaks. I'll tell you exactly how much money you need according to the science and also how to cheat the system a bit so it works best for you. As a coach, public speaker, and best-selling author, I teach topics just like this one all around the world. So stay tuned and I'll give you practical tools that you can use to make both yourself and those around you both happier and more successful. Now, of course, we all dream of winning the lottery. Wouldn't it be wonderful suddenly coming upon a great fortune? And yes, the science here shows that winning the lottery does truly make you happier, at least for a period. You have this feeling of excitement and amazement. It's really powerful. But about two years after winning the lottery, people return to the same level of happiness they had before. Well, why is this? Well, some amount of wealth is absolutely required for us to be happy. Most of us wouldn't be very happy if our basic needs weren't being met. You know, we need food, shelter, and those things are fundamental for us to be happy. When we can't make these needs, our struggle to survive is motivated by pain and hunger. But once we meet these needs and have some level of confidence, that we'll have our needs met again tomorrow, all that stress disappears. So the question is, would doubling your wealth, having twice as much to meet your basic needs, make you twice as happy? And of course not, that doesn't make sense. Mostly, it's true that when our basic needs are met, every other thing that we get into our life does not make us exponentially happier. Instead, the science shows that happiness grows as income grows up to about 75,000 US dollars per household. After this amount is earned, there's virtually no increase in personal happiness. Not at $100,000, not at a million dollars. And of course, below $75,000, your happiness is less optimal. Once people's basic biological needs are secured, more money just doesn't really make a big difference. So how do you cheat the system and find happiness regardless of how much you make? Well, think of it this way. 75,000 simply reflects Americans' perception of necessities. We see our basic needs differently depending on the time and the culture we're in. So when I was a kid, we didn't have a dishwasher. That changed when suddenly most of the other families that lived around us all had dishwashers. And then suddenly this seemed like a necessity for our family. Well, if you can see these kinds of things in their proper perspective, and maybe avoid the need for a dishwasher or a new car or things like that, then your $75,000 metric changes. A simple change in lifestyle and mindset can go a long, long way. So to fully leverage this, you'll want to use the tool I've given you in the description. It's a scientifically accurate assessment of how happy you are. Ask yourself, are your needs being met? Have a run through the survey and see what score you get back. Now, I'm Paul Krismer, your happiness expert. It's my life's mission to help the world be a bit happier. Please like and share this video and you'll make the world happier too. And if you'd like to see more of this kind of video content, please subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. Bye.